Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Braxton Family Value Season 6, Episode 6. Um, tonight's lipstick is Kat Von D. The color is K Dub. I've worn it before. It's one of my favorites. So you can get it from Sephora or wherever. Kat D is sold. Kat Von D is sold. Um, as y'all see, I have a new shirt out. The Be Big shirt is finally out. It is on my Teespring store. The link to get that shirt or the Iron Fat shirt or the Detroit uh, Winter Circle shirt or my Sippy Z with J. Lee mug. Um, the link to get all of that is in the description box below. It will also be in the comment section. I will pin it to the top. Um, so please shop with the girl. Okay. Um, so this... The Braxtons, um, I feel like everyone except Tony storyline is about Tamar and Vince, um, and one with other other. And I feel like Tamar barely even on this season. You know, we into episode six. She's not on here much, and I'm just like I'm getting a bit bored because every episode is the same conversation. It's about Tamar and Vince. It's about how Tamar isn't talking to them or isn't really being open about her divorce. I'm sick and he I'm sick of hearing about it. I think the sisters don't and again besides Tony don't have no storyline. And I think even Tracy storyline of her son having some girl pregnant. I don't think that's enough of a storyline for her. That's the storyline for her son because her son having a kid. She ain't having a kid. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like. <sighs> What all, you know, why Tracy, you know, why Tracy not showing us when she in the studio recording her album? Why Trina not showing us uh, her at the at the damn bar running her, running her bar? Why Twanda ain't showing us how to spell Twanda the correct way? I don't know. I just feel like it's just too much of this Tamar and Vince conversation on this season. And it's a bunch of fuckery and bullshit that's getting on my nerves. Um, you know, we see the sisters are at dinner. And you know what I'm saying they're still well the same dinner from last time when Tracy was saying how uh Tamar like <coughs> you know, passed her up on set or whatever. Sorry about that, people. And um Tony said, you know, I think that's wrong. You know, you should talk to Tamar. You know, how we should be able to talk to Tamar. Um and she felt like Tamar should apologize to Tracy. And I feel like do she owe her apology for not talking to her? Yes and no. At this point, I think we're aware that Tamar ain't talking to her sisters. I feel like sometimes you you have siblings, y'all do have arguments, but sometimes y'all be mad at each other, y'all might not talk to each other, and I feel like it can depend on the reasoning for that. I think Tamar thing is, y'all see, I don't want to talk about this fence bullshit. And I feel like whenever I see y'all or you talk with y'all, that's what it's going to be about. Or not only that, at this point, um, we saw the sisters, you know, talking to the media and stuff like that. So I'm, I feel like that's the reason Tamar is kind of keeping her distance because she don't feel like talking. If my sister don't feel like talking... I'm not going to pop up on her and meet her somewhere. I will call my sister, send my sister a message until we can have some kind of conversation. I will keep reaching. Me and my sister don't fight like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll pop to her house. What you going to do about it? Um, but uh, for them, it's a little bit different because they, they like beefing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Tamar like upset or whatever. And I feel like this as a, as a human being, Tamar deserves to be in her feelings right now. You know what I'm saying? Let her be in her feelings. Give her give her a day or two. Give her whatever time to be in her feelings about whatever y'all saying about her. Um, and then had a conversation later. So I'm like, do she owe her an apology? She do, because it's her sister. At the same time, y'all know that she don't want to talk to y'all right now. And y'all keep forcing the issue, which is making her further push herself away from y'all. 
and I ain't saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying that's my goddamn observation. So, and people kept saying, you being, you coddling Tamar. I don't fucking know Tamar at all. I don't know the practices. I'm not calling her. I just, I'm not a person on who I, I don't villainize her either. Some people hate Tamar. I, I, I look at things even kill. I ain't like that. Anywho, you know, Tracy, I mean, Tina, damn it. Tony also said, you know, you need to tell mommy that, you know what I'm saying, what Tamar did before she read it on the media or whatever. And I feel like y'all are too old to be t- telling your mama about y'all issues. You're too old for that shit. You all y'all are in your forties and your almost in your fifties. I think because Tony is fifty now. You're too old for that. I think no. For what? No one really know that would that shouldn't make the news simply because it wasn't a scene. No one really saw it happen. Um, but you know, it is what it is, that's what they do. Tracy didn't say she's gonna have a gender reveal for her grandbaby. Again, I don't like how Tracy's storyline is her son is having a kid. I'm a girl by. So, we do see Mama and Tracy meet up. Um, Tracy on how she's so excited to be a grandmother. You know, even Mama E is happy to be a great-grandmother. This is this is her first uh, great-grandchild. So, it's, you know, it's a good thing, too. Um, she then tells her mama that Tamar kicked her out the set. She used those exact words. Tamar kicked me out her set. And I said to myself, off the movie set... I said to myself, no, she did not. That ain't what we saw. What we saw was your ass pulled up. She was already in her car, and she rode past you. She didn't kick you nowhere. I mean, she ignored your ass. Definitely she ignored you. I need you to say it the right way. You can't say that she kicked me up there because you wasn't. She didn't say go ahead on some girl somewhere. She just didn't film with you. That ain't, You could have said on set. You just wouldn't have nothing to do. Nothing to do. Um, you know, just say what she did. She rode, She ignored your ass, and, and you felt like she was wrong for doing that. Um... And Mama E said, you know, y'all over 40. At this point in time, y'all should be able to not have this whole separation, argumentation situation as sisters. And, you know, so just kind of work it out. She said, you know, you should just try to reach out to Tamar and see if y'all can be okay and have some kind of, you know what I'm saying, reconciliation. I think that's the best advice. You can't keep putting Mommy in because, hell, Tamar better speak to Mommy. Okay? She's trying to fix her own situation with Tamar. So, including her, you know what I'm saying, it ain't going to really help the situation at all. Um, she then bring up how she going on tour with Tony and I have so much stuff going on, you know, I'm going to be a grandmother. I'm going on tour with Tony and Tamar. I work on my new album. I said, are you Tracy? Are you really? I mean, at this point in time, we know that she's not going on tour with Tamar and Tracy, I mean, Tamar and Tony. We don't know yet what happened. It's been rumored that, of course, it was Tamar's fault, but that could be none of what too, because at this day, not Tamar ain't going on tour either. So we don't know what they are going on them damn Braxton sisters. Um, what we do know is, is Tracy really coming out with an album? Girl. So, you know, they had the birthday party for Mommy. She's turning 70, which is a great milestone. All the people are there. You know, Tawan is there, who's Umba, um, Tony, Tracy, Trina, Michael, and Tamar. All the siblings are there to celebrate mom's seventh birthday and that's a great thing now they all kind of sitting around or whatever it was kind of cool calm and collected and then you know logan's also there because mama e walked in with logan and i feel like i feel in my bones everyone was aware vince was around in the vicinity okay um for some reason i just felt like they did because i don't that's just my thought process maybe not anyway when she talking to Logan at this point, Tamar is, and Logan kind of a little bit fidgety, she say, you know, you're going to go with your daddy. Then the sisters then say, why is he even here? And then, because Tamar then gets him ready to um, give him to, to, to Vince. Now, from my perspective, what they showed on camera, they did not show Vince inside the room where the party was. They showed Vince was outside the room um, within the same vicinity. And I'm guessing he was out there to get Logan. That's my assumption. I don't know. Would I have brought my husband to my mama's party? No, I would not if there's issues. However, the, t- the Braxons do things differently. Okay? Um, it didn't seem like he was 
all of people's faces. It did not seem like he was like flaunting that he was there. It seemed like when everyone else was on the inside, he was on the outside. Cause I guess at the end of the day, he and Tamar are still interacting on some kind of level and it is what it is. You know, so she takes him Logan. We see Tony also gets up and she goes out there too. So clearly Tony don't have too much of a big issue with Vince because she didn't stay on in the, in, in the inside like the other three sisters did. Um, we see how Umber, Trace, and Trini, fuck Lord Jesus and Trina, I think they do call her Trini. Um, it's like, you know, why he here? You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't y'all getting divorced? This is so awkward. And for me, it's weird because I'm like, you know, Twanda Umba, you live in a house with your ex-husband. Trina, you was just on a Yana show trying to fix your life with your ex-husband. And Tracy asked, you stayed with your husband who I believe at one point cheated on you. So my thing is, y'all saying how, you know what I'm saying, why is he here and y'all divorced, this is awkward. Y'all all have some kind of awkward situation with y'all current husbands or ex-husbands. So why y'all acting as if Tamar is just the, the one out outside the box? And I, I'm telling y'all, they have no storyline this season without Tamar. And for me, it's weird. I want to see the sisters have other endeavors, do other things, and show us parts of their life without it having to include a beef with Tamar. I don't think anybody would, you know, think anything different than that. Um, but I'm like, when they said, why is he here? Why, Tawana, why is Andre living at your house? You know, ain't y'all divorced? Trina, ain't you engaged divorce? You want to fix my life with him? Girl, bye. You know what I'm saying? Ain't this awkward? Uh, Tracy, didn't your husband cheat on you? And y'all thought that he had a baby on the side too? As I said, the sisters are trying to make it seem as if Tamar and how she's handling this, this divorce is so awkward. And it's not if you think about how things happen over the other seasons. It really isn't. At, even when Tawanda and uh, tr uh, Trina was getting divorces, neither one of them talked about it until they were ready. Whenever they would ask Tracy, not Tracy, whenever they would ask Trina about her engaged situation, Trina would shut down and damn near cry. When they asked Tawanda, Tawanda didn't say, sh didn't say shit. So my thing is, why y'all acting as if Tamar has to have this whole kumbaya, let me open up my heart to y'all to have these conversations when y'all went through the same things. Y'all did the same thing she doing. Y'all shut down. Y'all is mad because of what she said prior, which was some crazy files stuff that she did say, not negating that. But y'all can't keep making her out to be the villain. You can't. At this point, it's just it's utter bullshit. At this point, y'all doing it to have a storyline and it's getting boring. And y'all all need to check. Okay, so to keep this reality show going, just go do some do some things. I don't go open up, open a boutique, open a goddamn on foot spot. I don't know, make animal balloons, make animal crackers. I don't care what you do, just do something besides consistently getting together and talking about Tamar. I'm tired of hearing about Tamar, and I like Tamar. I want to hear about what y'all have going on, and there's never nothing besides. Tamar and Vince, Tamar and Vince, Tamar and Vince. This might as well be the goddamn on part two of Tamar and Vince show. Oh, God. So, after Mommy's party, they all go out to eat. Which is weird, because who don't eat at a birthday party? I digress. Who knows? Um, They all go. And Tawanda says, you know, they was going to try to talk to Tamar about the whole uh vent situation the whole lawsuit situation but they can't ask her any questions because vince and logan is at the same restaurant that's at a different table <sighs> at this point um whatever vince and tamar got going on they still hanging out at this point you just accept it for what it is because if you keep worrying about it it's going to drive you crazy. I don't even understand why Vince was there at all. Um, I feel like if he was there to wrangle Logan, they could have stayed at a hotel. They didn't have to come to the restaurant. I mean, maybe they was hungry. They could have got some takeout. I'm not sure. I think that was bad shit crazy, too. Um, but, however, it's what it is. It's what happened. So, you know, Tony come in, but she still is saying how she does not want to tell the sister she's engaged. So what's the reason for this time? Oh, I'm not going to tell them that I'm engaged because Vince is here. As if Tamar ain't going to tell Vince you're engaged. I'm like, he ain't at the table with y'all? That confused the hell out of me. You kept on saying you wanted to wait until all the siblings were together so you can tell them. But it's weird because you want to like, all your sisters but not your brother. Anywho, I digress. But yeah, I'm like, I'm, what does Vince being at a different table in the same restaurant have to do with you having a conversation with your sisters? <sighs> 
Anywho, you know, uh, Trina bring up how she wants to have a new restaurant. Um, but she wants this one to be different. She wants her sister to partner with her. And they're like, wait, what, what, you, what you mean partner for? They're like, we got to put our money in? And she's like, no, I, I'm going to do my own money, I, but I will give y'all a percentage um, for y'all to kind of partner with me. And they was like, no, nah, it's okay. You know, that's you. That's your money. That's your thing. You know, do you be fruitful and multiply? You know, you don't need, you don't need to include us. Um, she said, well, no, I, was like, I want you guys' opinion. Bull the fuck shit. No, she don't. The last time Trina asked them for their opinion, the last two times she asked them for her, she asked them for their opinion, she got pissed off each time. The first time she got pissed off because they kept on asking when she going to have fries. I don't want to go to no restaurant that don't have fries. I don't. I love french fries. Fat bitch and all. Yes, the fat bitch loves french fries. Um... But yeah, I wouldn't want to go to no no bar that doesn't have French fries, bitch. For what? If I'm drunk, I need some fries, okay? To suck up this liquor, girl. The hell. Um, and even when she had the second little thing, and they said that you know you would do better if you had some different flavors for the chicken. You know, throw some throw some salt on the chicken, get some seasoning on the chicken. Come on now, Kathy. Um, that pissed her off, and that's when her and Tamar got into a big old fight, uh, 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 argument. So I don't see why now she wants to include them and have them give her her give give her their opinion. I'm like, is your bar not doing that good? And you think if you have a bar that's with your sisters, it will bring in more revenue for more people, more fans will come. That's what I think it is. But they politely decline. Um, you then see. Logan kind of running wild in the restaurant. Well, not running wild. He's just running around in one area or whatever. But I'm pretty sure they had the restaurant closed off for a couple of sections to shoot the scenes anyway. So, I don't think it was as if he was running around regular patrons knocking up forks and knives and spoons and shit. But he should have said little ass down. So, of course, they sit and they laughing. Tamar not laughing. She's frustrated because she's like... Um, she's frustrated because she's like, he with his daddy. I don't know why he ran around his daddy right there. You know? So we know that there's issues between her and Vince that they're just putting on this United Front. Maybe just for Logan. Um, then, you know, Tamar, no, Tony see how Tamar is a little bit frustrated. So, you know, Tony says, you know, divorce is hard. You know, divorce sucks. Tawanda then says, no, the person you're divorcing sucks, which may... Tamar do a whole face or whatever. And I felt like when Tawana said the person divorcing sucks, she was talking about Vince. She wasn't talking about people in general. She meant Vince sucks. She didn't mean that at all in a general way as in whoever you're divorcing sucks. Because if that's the case, I'm pretty sure your husband who divorced you would say that you suck. She meant Vince sucks. And I think Tamar kind of felt that a little bit, little bit, little bit. Um, you know, Tony then asked her, how did Vince take it when you were on tour talking about him, you know, your song? Remember she was doing that when she was on tour? And she said, he texted me one night and told me, he said, you know, please stop talking about me on stage. And I said, okay. And then after the first few shows, she didn't talk about him anymore. Um, and then when Trina then says, can I add something? She was like, no. Tony then said, well, she was like, no, don't ask me no questions. Again, she shut it down. Like, look, I'm not even here for y'all to keep start asking me shit about me, Vince, or nothing. And it's not fair that Tamar does that because there are things that I'm pretty sure her family wants to know based on things that she put out in the media, based on other stories that's in the media. And you usually want to get the, the you know, the answer from the horse's mouth. I don't know if, if maybe they talked to her off camera. That she would answer some of these questions, but on camera she ain't with the shits, and she's like, nope, don't, nope, don't ask me nothing, not, not a zero zilch, and you know that's kind of it. She's like, you know, what I'm saying, just don't ask me nothing, and I... okay, girl. So we then see them three amigos or three dudes, however you want to call them, Trina, Umba, and Tracy, go off for drinks to talk. And they're just saying how weird it was to have Vince at mommy's party. And you know what I'm saying? How she, I think Umba said she felt like it was selfish for him to not have empathy about how the family feels and him still coming around. I completely understand Umba saying that. I do feel like if you and my sister going through things and you don't really rock with us right now because y'all going through things, maybe you shouldn't come to family functions. I can get that. However, I also feel like if that's still her husband and they still is on whatever accord and she says, oh, I want you to just be in the building. 
I mean, sometimes you're not going to like your sibling, spouse, or girlfriend, or boyfriend. It's just times when, like, when my brother was first dating a long, long, long time ago before he met his wife. I did not like anyone he brought to, he brought up to me. I did not. I would not remember their names. I'm pretty sure I was kind of mean to him. I would give them nicknames so I can figure out who they were. But, you know, I was that mean sister. It wasn't until he, he, I met his, it was not his now wife, uh, my sister-in-law, that when I first met her, I think she was like the first girl I was nice to. But, you know, he, had my brother talked to or, you know, been... I, Fuck them all the hoes. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So there are times when you won't like um, your siblings' mates or whatever. But you can't. It's like, can you really want to alienate them? You know what I'm saying? Because when you do that, you alienate your sister or your sibling. So I'm like, you know, it is what it is. But again, he I, at least he wasn't in the party sitting out, sitting down next to y'all. At least he was out sad the building, sitting in the lobby or whatever it was like that. You know, Trina saying how, you know. She felt like if either Tamar or Vince took ownership of what's happening, it'll be better. Saying how, you know, if Tamar maybe just came to us and said, you know what I'm saying, I'm going through things and I'll come to y'all in my own town and we'll talk about it. I feel like in a way she has. I mean, I feel like she hasn't said that. She hasn't said those words. But when y'all ask her questions, she say, don't ask me nothing. I, you know, which means I don't want to talk about it. I think sometimes people have to understand you have to understand how some people communicate some people are not as verbal or as direct as others if someone is going through something and you ask them a question and they shut you down clearly it means they not ready to talk about it when they are ready they will either one come to you or two when you ask them a question they'll fucking answer it so i don't feel like tamar owes them any kind of ownership because my thing is that's her life she don't owe you nothing about it you know what i'm saying even though y'all siblings, it's still her situation. And at the end of the day, she has to be happy or she has to be content with whatever it is before she can worry about how y'all feel about it. Because she has to live the life. Because if y'all know all her business, but she at home and she miserable or she happy, y'all know her business ain't going to help her cope with whatever she's going through. Oh, my God. Tracy then says how what well, they need to be handled for the theme song that's what we need to fig- be figuring out um because i'm like this theme song thing i don't know because it's a season six i'm still confused as to why they just now saying they didn't get paid from that song from seven years ago um i'm fully fully confused and i feel like what so no one's asked the question for the past six seasons about the song like, I wonder what made them say, we need to look into the song. The song, but on the show this whole time. But now we have some questions. That's what I wonder about what the hell going on. So, yeah. Um, Tony talked about her shooting that movie, that movie, Faith Under Fire. I saw the movie. I think I reviewed the movie. Did I review that movie? I think I did. It was a good movie. I liked it. You know, we see her sister go visit her on set. Um, it was cool. It was what it was, and that's great. You know, we would see Tracy again and Benny how she's going on tour with Tony and Tamar because they were at like a little dinner or whatever, and this is what she brought it up. I need Tracy to stop bringing it up because, girl, it didn't really happen in real life. Next. So, Trina and Tawanda were supposed to have a double date because they're both dating someone. So, we see Trina, her man, sitting there. Trina got a black man, honey, a, a, a good-looking black man. Okay? He was real cute. He did not look like her type. He he looked... Trina has a type in my in my thought process, and it ain't him. He looks like he would date someone like Tony. Because Trina kind of different. You know what I'm saying? I don't... It's just something about her I don't know. And... It, uh, for a little bit, it was a little weird, you know. But they said they've been dating six months. You know how she was happy, or they both kind of agree how they were happy that she did not introduce him to the family too soon. They wanted to see if it was gonna work, and then they both said, "You think it's gonna work? Do you think it's gonna work? I hope it works. I hope it works too." Y'all are so damn childish. Anyway, Umpa walk in, and first of all, um, I know my eye got going crazy when she walked in, and a the man that walked in behind her, I call bullshit. I said, I'm not bringing no man to that damn, that damn dinner. It ain't no real double date like that. And then we see 
Tracy walk in, and that's her date. The the her her boyfriend name was Vine. Vine looked shocked. Trina looked shocked. I would look pissed simply because I feel like when you were in a, in a new relationship, you kind of prepared that person for what they're walking into. So hey, this is the first time you're gonna meet one of my sisters, and you know we also gonna meet her her boyfriend too. You kind of you can kind of prepare for that. I don't feel like as an adult you should spring things on people, especially family members like my family we tough okay you gotta have thick skin to be with us you you you, you really really do um our aunts and uncles they're gonna grill you the cousins gonna it's gonna be that kind of thing so you kind of want to prepare a person for that i feel like tawanda tricking trina into meeting her dude and then bringing tracy i felt like it was some bullshit i felt like tawanda could have came by herself and just said because that's what she said well, my man couldn't make it he had to go to the studio um girl okay she do said that what her boyfriend is, Trina know him. But I, I you dating Timbaland? I don't know, girl, who it is. Anyway, um, yeah, I would have been upset. I, if my sibling is supposed to have me meet their mate and they bring my other sibling, I ain't happy about that. Simply because I don't want to be, um, you know what I'm saying, um, shocking who I'm dating. And then he be thinking, well, she, they playing this. They wanted to catch me off guard. No, let me prepare my man for what we doing. Don't lie to me, which then makes me have to kind of lie to my man. I don't like that kind of stuff. And they kind of ask him questions like a firing squad. And again, I'm like, he, I'm just different. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, you know, I think the thing that made me even be like, what the hell? At one point, Tracy said, I want to know how big it is. Who wants to know how big the person dick is they sister having sex with? That is disgusting. I don't want to know not nan detail of anybody my siblings is messing with. Not not nothing. I don't need their skin tone. I don't need no information at all. Okay? But, you know what I'm saying? And he looked kind of shocked at the question. I felt like in one way or another, sometimes the sisters are immature. Um, I think it's them when they're just trying to be funny and jokingly. I think that works when it's them because they know each other. But I feel like when you meet someone, you can't be too... Because to ask someone, how big is it? I don't... Anywho, we didn't meet Tawana's man, so it was what it was. Um, the last scene of the episode... First of all, let's get this straight. Tracy is not an actress. Tracy was sitting in her damn confessional, and you can tell she was reading from a script about what she planned. I'm taking them to the Eiffel Tower building because I wanted them to see how much I feel like I am high on life, and I have other plans to show them um, things. Because I'm like, girl, you are, you. That is horrible reading. It don't sound normal at. When I'm talking to y'all, even though I have some notes here. You see, even though well, y'all probably can't see, but even though I have a couple notes on here, um, just kind of detailing the order of things, I'm talking off the dome because you can't be reading off of here to to be natural. I'm like, she didn't have no natural cadence in her voice. It was a strictly, this is a script I'm reading from, and not only do I sound horrible, I sound horrible as horrible with sound. I'm my like, girl, bye. So she then took them to the top of this building that's high, high up because as she said, she's she feel, she's feel high on life because she's going to be a grandmother. Um, and this is supposed to be her reveal for the gender of the baby. I said, oh, maybe she's going to have a skywriter come through a girl or boy. That's what I thought it was because why else would you take someone to the top of a building to reveal the, the, the sex of a baby? Nope. She literally took, took them up here just so they can be up in a high building. She then had them take a, it was like a little slide that went down maybe five feet. A little slide. Here. And that was it. It looked like a slide for little people. I don't even ask me because it was so short. Um, And they then went downstairs. Tamar downstairs. Again, I don't, this was the lamest, corniest gender reveal <laughs> that I ever saw one. Um, I just didn't, she didn't need to go up there. She did not at all. It was just stupid. Tamar down there because Tamar is scared of heights. I'm scared of heights too. If someone say we're going to go up top, I won't go because it, I said, oh my God, it's just, I, no, can't do it. Um, I'm scared of heights and I'm scared of boats. Um, big boats, it terrifies me. I'm not going to boat sink. I don't have my own life for I have to save my own life. And you know, it's that kind of thing. Anyway. So, Tamar down there, so they all come downstairs, and then uh, Tracy get on a motorcycle. 
So she gonna reveal the sex of the baby by revving the little engine and gonna have the color smoke. So you took us to this damn building to take us up to the top, to the 90th floor. And then it had to go down. Sl- I was like, this is dumb. Now the slag would have been from the top floor to the bottom floor. That would be dope. That's what I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be uh, like at least four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten floors of a slag. It was not even, a, it was, I, it was like five feet. It was, it was my height. It was, it was, you know, it was crazy. I, I thought it was a little people. Um, so she rubbed the engine or whatever. It's a boy. Okay, congratulations. Um, I was bored. I honestly was, and I kept thinking to myself, "Well, who gonna clip all that blue dust that's on the ground? Is that why she didn't have it at home? Cause she wanted that blue dust? That gotta be loitering or littering. It gotta be something. It gotta be some kind of law against that. I don't know. Anywho, that is the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel, and put a comment below. Again, I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. Jay Lee's Corner. Peace. <laughs>